Translating games is a very tricky business, especially when it comes to translating something that could be seen as offensive. On one hand, you could change the dialogue to be less offensive, but upset people that do not want to purchase and play a censored and toned down game, such as Trails of Cold Steel 3. Recently, the translation team on a live stream admitted to altering dialogue they found to be offensive to Western audiences. But on the other side of the spectrum, you could just leave the dialogue and attempt to translate it as accurately as possible, though there will always be people that are upset with that course of action since you just did your job, and that is really what I wanted to discuss today. A fans translator actually quit a project and announced he will no longer be translating games due to how much harassment he has received after accurately translating something in a game that a few people found to be offensive. Goemon 3 fan translator can't continue and quits after receiving harassment for accurate translation. A prominent fan translator of Japanese video games has announced that he will no longer be contributing his time to future translations after receiving a wave of harassment from Western social media users for an accurate translation of a joke referring to transgender individuals. On January 25th, the game was made accessible to a more global audience thanks to the release of an English-language ROM hack courtesy of the programmer DDS Translations. The hack replaced Japanese script with an English translation provided by the veteran translator Tom, also known on, on his Twitter handle by the Retro Translator, who has provided fan translations for over 50 Japanese exclusive games. This is some that has done a lot of a lot of translation work and he is a fan translator he is not being paid to do this he is doing this sheerly because he wants specific audiences to have access to playing these games Soon after the release of the ROM hack, some social media users took note to one particular line of dialogue, encountered when the player talks to an NPC who asks the player how she should reveal to her boyfriend that she is a tranny. I'm actually a tranny. Should I tell my boyfriend the truth? And this sent people into a rage on social media. Now, I do want to note that it is only a small group of people on Twitter and of course we do have people on Reset Era being outraged with the fact that he accurately translated this. The use of the word tranny, widely considered to be a slur against transgender individuals, was brought to widespread attention by Hardcore Gaming 101, who ac accused the translation of transphobia. Is it too much to ask for right-wing fan translators to not stick slurs in their work? And this person obviously did not know um, the original game and did not know what he was translating because this is actually an accurate translation. He just assumed that this translator was right-wing because he threw in a slur, but he actually did not put this slur in here. This slur was originally here. In the original Japanese text of the game, the character refers to herself as a new half, which is a Japanese slang term for a transgender person, which suggests that trans women are a new kind of half, namely half male and half female. The accuracy of the translation was even confirmed against a physical Japanese copy of the game, though he did not apologize for his initial reaction and stated that it was still a shitty word to translate as is. Now, I am not in any way justifying the dialogue. Some of this dialogue is a product of its time, even though even then it was considered a slur, but in today's world, it's unacceptable. But it is not the job of the translator to change the intent of the writers. If people truly want to be angry about this slur, then you need to go to the developer, not the translator. This anger is pointed at the wrong person. Take your criticism 
criticisms to Konami and tell them that it is offensive. Do not try to cancel someone over it. He did not create it. We cannot erase history and George Orwell taught us that lesson pretty well in 1984 and pretending things weren't written or censoring and changing them is not the way to go about it. We just have to go forward and not do it again. However, the damage has been done and Tom has received a bombardment of harassment related to the translation. Ultimately, he deleted all of his posts from his Twitter account, leaving behind a single post defending himself, saying, My apologies to everyone. I needed some time to mull over this mess. I want to clarify that whatever scripts I've translated don't reflect who I am or what I believe. People are calling me a far-right extremist now. Me? These people know nothing about me. Yes, the original Japanese line in the game is insensitive, but please don't think that having translated it as an insensitive way means that I'm somehow a hateful person because I am not. And I care about the games too. I started working on fan translations because I care. I just wanted to share these experiences with people. Seeing how all of this has turned out, it's really crushed me. If one single word that I did not even know was so inexcusable caused this sort of uproar, what other words are off limits without my knowing? To be honest, the very thought terrifies me. This whole thing has crushed my passion for translating, video games, and even simply writing in general. I can't continue with it. I do not think that this person should be receiving so much hate online. He translated it accurately, and yes, to some people it may be seen as offensive, though it is not like he, it tra he translated it to mean something more offensive. It is not like in Japanese it says, I'm a transgender, and he is translating it to, I'm a tranny, to be offensive or to throw his own opinion into the game. Both words have a negative connotation behind them, and all he did was translate it accurately, but let everyone know your thoughts in the comments section down below. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel, but of course if you did not, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.